Hey guys, I have a very special unboxing to do today. As a Christmas gift, I got this brand new kitchen droid and I am so excited to get it out of the box and check it out. This is the BB-8 model of the Star Wars series of Instant Pots. So let's jump in and check it out. Here is what the box looks like. And if you look down here, you can check out the different uh, Instant Pots in the series. They have a R2-D2, a Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, and Chewbacca. And you'll notice Chewbacca is an eight quart Instant Pot. These three are six quart Instant Pots, and the BB-8 is a three quart Instant Pot. Now let's get this thing unpacked. This is a duo series Instant Pot. So if you have an Instant Pot duo, especially an Instant Pot duo mini, the controls are gonna look very similar. They have the pressure cooker safety maintenance and warranty for the Duo series and a cooking timetables for cooking at high pressure as well as a getting started guide. This is cute. They have welcome to the rebellion, beep boop beep, C3PO, oh dear, allow me to translate. Welcome to the Instant Pot Alliance, this one of a kind astromech, ast astromech? Astromech? <laughs> Stromach is here to help you on all your cooking adventures. Make the jump to instantpot.com slash duo where one of our protocol droids would be happy to explain in a language you can understand how clever. Here is the Instant Pot board and it is removable on this one. There's that. Oh, it looks so beautiful already. Here it is. Look at how stinking cute it is. I'm gonna pull off the warning tag here. Here's what the lid looks like. And the top of the lid, it's got the orange in here and white all around. Oh, it looks so cute. Warning information. And here is the trivet that comes with it. It looks a little bit different than my previous uh, mini Instant Pot trivets. It's kind of shaped a little bit different, but it doesn't have handles because it's such a small inner pot. Um, having handles would reduce the amount of things that you could put on the trivet. And here is the inner pot. You can see inside there it has the pressure cook max two thirds line and then the half line for when you're cooking things that foam and stuff like rice and oats and different things. And one more warning sheet. And that's what the inside looks like. Let's get a good view of this whole thing because man, it's so cute. I'll give it a quick spin for you so you can see all the detail around the sides. It is metal on the side, not plastic. So cute. Now real quick, I'll show you all the parts of the lid just in case you're not familiar with the Instant Pot lids. This is the pressure release valve or the steam release valve and it pops off just like that and that's totally normal. And when you pop it back on, it's wobbly. That's also totally normal. This here is the pressure pin that pops up when the Instant Pot is up to pressure. On the underside of the lid, the pin, the bottom of the pin is here, and you can take the pin out for cleaning by popping off the little silicone cap and dropping the pin right through. You can clean that if it ever gets gunked up. I don't find I have to clean it often, but it comes in handy to pull it out like that and give it a good clean every once in a while. To put it back in, you just pop the little lid or the cap back on and it is ready to go. On the underside of the pressure release valve, there's this cap and it also comes off for cleaning. And some of these come off easily and some of them don't. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. That's the little cap and every once in a while it'll get gunked up with food if something boils really heavily. So you might need to clean that and it pops right back on just like that. The other part of the lid that is removable for cleaning is the silicone ring here. You can pull it all out and clean it. And if you ever have an issue with the Instant Pot coming up to pressure, 
check your silicone ring and see if it's inserted correctly because if it is not, it will not come up to pressure correctly. And very occasionally, the silicone rings need to be replaced. Um, not very often, I find not more than once a year for sure. But if you do start having any issues with your Instant Pot coming up to pressure, that might be something to try. There was one more piece in the box that I hadn't found yet. And so this is really important. It's the condensation collector and it goes right on the back of BB-8 right here. It just slides right in and um, you just want to check this every once in a while to make sure it stays clean. I don't find that it fills up with condensation very often, but you do want to clean it and uh, check it periodically. Before the water test, I'm going to wash the lid and the inner pot. The lid is completely uh, dishwasher safe, so it's easy to wash. No need to wash the rest of the pot. So the water test or initial test run, like they call it in the manual, is very simple. It just consists of cooking three cups of water at high pressure for, I think, five minutes, and then doing a quick release and just making sure everything comes up to pressure and everything works the way it's supposed to. So I'm adding in my three cups of water, placing on the lid and making sure that the valve is put to the sealing position. On the lid here it says sealing on one side and venting on the other. So just make the valve point to the sealing position. I'm selecting pressure cook and it's already on high pressure. I'm going to use the minus button to go down to five minutes and it will heat up, come up to pressure. The little pin will pop up when it's up at pressure. And then after that, the uh, minutes will start counting down. And then once the Instant Pot is finished with the cook time, I will quick release the pressure and we'll be good to go. Cook time is finished. Now I'm gonna quickly release the pressure just by moving the pressure release valve to the venting position. The water test was successful and I can discard this water and this kitchen droid is ready to start cooking.